Thus it represents planetary magic. In this arcane lake, we will travel to the stars. First, let us draw a magic circle to keep out all of the negative forces of the universe. With this feather, I enchant my broom. With this feather, I power on my magic hat for which I used to meditate. To the stars we go, children. For eons, mankind has visited the moon inside the Great Arcane Lake. You can meditate and you can absorb all of its beautiful, glorious power because the moon is closer to us than any other force on Earth. Mercury, the first of the worlds and the last one to be invoked. It has the raw power of the sun, for it is the one closest to it. The Venus. It takes everything that you give it, your love, your hate, everything is Venus. Mars, the darkest of all other planets. It shows our future. It used to be a very beautiful and green earth, but now it's dead. To no fault of his own, with all of his volcanoes dead, now there's only death. Jupiter and Neptune, our fates are intertwined in the red planet. Jupiter has blessed all of his planetary children with meteors. With sense to the meteor, Earth has gained life. And look, he blessed Neptune with meteor, and Uranus, and also Saturn has been blessed many times by Jupiter's meteors. That's why it's denser than Jupiter. It is full of life, but mankind can seem to reach it. And this is the last planet, Pluto, my star planet. Bye bye, and God bless.